Hello everyone, it's me, and I'm back again for yet another doll-themed video, which is always 100% family-friendly, so let's jump on into this. For this video, I was planning to sort through a huge box of unknown Barbies, however, because that box really is too heavy for me to move into this room, I thought I would do something just a little bit different, and as I show you the dolls, I would kind of talk about their molds or their face sculpts. During the mid to late 70s, there was one predominant Barbie mold, and it was this one. And this is known as the Superstar Mold because it was used for the Superstar Barbie, which is a quintessential Barbie doll and very, very iconic. However, it was not only used for the Superstar Barbie, it was used many, many times, and I have many examples of that. We have this Barbie, which was probably made in the 90s, and as you can tell, same face, just different dolls. And then we have this very athletic looking woman. She kind of looks like she's on her way to aerobics or jazzercise class. She has crimped hair and everything, and... I love that it's so 80s, early 90s looking, and she has the um, spooky Barbie blue eyes. They did um, Barbies with, like, really blue eyes that were, like, unbelievable. They didn't have any definition or anything. It was just, like, blue paint. And just to show you, see, it's the same doll. They just have different paint and different colored plastic and then we have the same doll with red hair and mm, I totally didn't realize she was topless but you can see very same sculpt and last but not least we have this lady and her hair is very 80s I mean how far back does your bangs really need to go that is verging on mullet territory but I kind of like it. This doll is a little spooky because she has jewels as eyes. We get it. You totally twinkle. Um, so that really just goes to show you that the same mold was used multiple, multiple times for multiple different dolls. So in the early 90s, here comes Bob Mackie, who is a wonderful costume designer who did all of Cher's costumes and gowns as well as Carol Burnett's. So Bob Mackie is set to design Barbie dolls, however he does not really like the superstar mold. He finds it to be too sweet looking and he does not like the fact that she has an open mouth smile. So he designs his own sculpt which is known as the Mackie mold. And this mold, just like the superstar, went on forever and it was not only a thing in the designer dolls, but it also trickled down into Playline dolls. I do not have any Mackie Mold Playline Barbies on hand to show you as an example. However, I do have this collector Barbie which does have the Mackie Mold. I really like her and the makeup that she has on is very, very pretty and it's very soft, but it's still very glamorous. I just think this doll is such a glamorous doll. I will say that I have not always been a fan of the Mackie mold simply because when they were introduced in the early 90s, they were really 90s looking dolls. They did not have this sort of style or elegance. So in short, the Mackie Mold became the new prominent. So in short, the Mackie Mold became the predominant Barbie mold of the time, and it went on for years and years. And then this lady showed up. And she not only showed up, but she brought many different looks with her. And then after years of production, this girl showed up. And she brought with her 
many other dolls. And what sets her apart from the other dolls is that she has a much larger head than the dolls that came before her, and she, of course, went on and on and on. And then a few years ago, there was actually a new Barbie mold released, and to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of it. To me, it just seems a little bit juvenile, like Barbie has gone in the reversing of the aging process, which, you know, you gotta give it to Barbie. She found a way to capture the fountain of youth, so you go, girl, but at the same time, I prefer an elegant Barbie, a Barbie that looks like a person rather than a cartoon of Barbie. So as you can see, there are countless Barbie molds, even though they seem to use the same ones for quite a long time, and then switch to something new completely. A few years ago, they came out with a line of Barbies geared towards the adult collector, and this line was really unique in that all of the Barbies were very beautiful, and they utilized all of the different Barbie molds throughout Barbie's history. So let's take a quick look. This, of course, is the Mackie mold that I already showed you, but it's the same principle. This is a Midge doll from the 80s, and this is the Model Muse Midge, who has a blonde bob. You can tell they are the same sculpt. It's just she looks much more modern and model-like. And last but not least, this is my second all-time favorite Barbie mold, next to the original, of course. This is the Steffi mold, and I really love this mold because she has slightly parted lips. Like, just slightly. She's very beautiful. I just think that she is really unique, although I will say with this doll, the bangs totally drive me crazy. Like, You'd think they would be like that, but they just want to part, so I don't know what's up with that. So that's all I have for this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and for my next doll-themed video, I promise I'm going to bring that big box into this room, and you and I are going to go through it together. So stay tuned and tell all your friends I make wacky doll videos, and I also have other funny videos. It's just not all of them are family friendly, so please use your own discretion. Thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to comment, share, like, and subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you again soon!